Brothers and sisters, the Lord through prophecy told me that I would be in the hands of the doctors. I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate, and I have been receiving through doctors procedures and surgeries for the last five years. In 2020, I finished a procedure, and I needed surgery for the nasal septum, which I did not have. Due to the pandemic, I decided to wait and not proceed with the surgery. But I remembered the promises of the Lord through Sister Maria Luisa, who said that we should not be afraid, that we pray and that we have faith in the Lord. So in September 2020, I made an appointment with a surgeon, and my, my surgery was scheduled for November 13th, and everything was very easy. The day before the surgery, the surgeon told me that they were going to remove part of the bone or cartilage from my rib. I already knew because I didn't have a bone in my nose. Usually, with these cases where there is no bone or cartilage in the nose, they have to get it from another part of the body. My mother and I had been informed about this since I was very young. So I began to prepare myself for the surgery, and I started praying to the Lord before the surgery, reminding Him of the promises that He had made to me. And I told Him that He is the God of impossible, that He could make appear what the doctors needed for my surgery, either bone or cartilage. I told the Lord that I did not want them to remove bone from my rib because it would be very painful. They already had done this procedure, removing bone from my hip to put in my palate. And today, as a result of that, I still have pain in my hip. And I prayed to the Lord that if it was possible, that they wouldn't do that. So the surgeon came into the operating room, and I was still praying to the Lord. When I came out of surgery, to my surprise, brothers and sisters, they did not have to remove bone from my rib, and the surgery was perfect. When I spoke to the surgeon at my post-surgery appointment, he told me that my surgery had been very different from what he has had to do in surgeries, which he cannot explain. He said he found cartilage in my nose, which he didn't expect. He doesn't understand what happened. After the surgery, I was doing very well, and I'm still doing good. And I knew it was the Lord who did all of this. Because my surgery was on a Friday, and it was one of the last surgeries before they canceled all surgeries in that hospital in Chicago. And it was the Lord who gave me that blessing of being able to have that surgery on time. And my medical insurance paid for everything. First, they told me that they would not cover the surgery. And a week later, they said, yes, that they would cover the surgery. And I say all of this to give the glory and the honor to the Lord. Thank you. I testify to give honor and glory to the Lord. The Lord in prophecy spoke to me about difficult moments coming and that the only uplifting word will be life because there will be no human word that could come for me because it will be out of doctor's hands what will be happening with me to seek the doctors this is how it came to pass they detected a malignant tumor where they told me my life had shortened during the course of this disease i was declared terminally ill seven times in surgery they removed the tumor which weighed 10 kilos or 22 pounds i've never imagined having that inside my stomach afterwards i started chemo and radiotherapy halfway down therapy treatment i was losing hope but the lord in prophecy said to continue the process because that's what he wanted 
As I finished the chemotherapy, a radiation enteritis was produced, blocking the small intestine, making me lose weight from 82 kilos to 40 kilos or 180 pounds to 88 pounds. Doctors in Bogota decided not to perform surgery as I run a chance of not making it through the surgery. At this point, they discharged me from the clinic to seek other options. Due to my family insisting me, I moved to another city with my wife where they reside, in Cali, to look at other options which they had offered me. The Lord spoke to me that He was allowing this to happen to teach my family that only the power of God could manifest to the doctors. As I enter in the critical state and I had a few surgeries done, the last one I could not withstand and I died for eight minutes. According to the doctors, He asked me, who I was, because one thing was to see people dying in his hands, and another one to see they to see them come back to life again. This is how the Lord did a miracle to get me out of that bed to restore my small intestine as new. And the doctors were amazed for all the wonderful miracles the Lord had performed. The Lord said, Don't blame yourself, as I, your God, allowed you to go through all of this, because this is how I form my children. I have testified to glory, give glory to the name of our Lord. I would like to testify that a few days ago, my mother was not feeling well. I saw how she was walking very slow and would bump into walls as if she did not see them. And she would just say that her head hurt. So I gave her the medication that doctor had prescribed her, but she still had a headache. Then I saw how her sight drifted away and I asked her if she was feeling okay. Then I saw that she was not able to answer me because her tongue was very heavy and twisted. I made her a few questions that she was not able to answer. Then she told me she was not able to see or did she know who I was. So I took her to see her primary care provider who was very worried when he saw her and took her blood pressure and it was 290 over 100. She was immediately transported to the hospital where they told me they might not be able to do anything for her because what most likely happened is that she had a stroke. I then spoke to the Lord alone and reminded him of the promises that he had fulfilled with my mother and I asked them to bring her back home completely healed. The following day, I received a call from the neurosurgeon asking me to tell him what had happened. And at one point, I thought the call had disconnected because he was silent all that time. Then he said to me, I'm speechless because I am hearing what you're saying, but my eyes are looking at a beautiful woman sitting down, eating with a beautiful smile on her face, answering me very clearly what day it is, what time it is, the date, and the clinical history that they gave me is of a patient who should be in a vegetative state or even not alive. And I hear you, but I have no words or explanations. And I said, doctor, I do have one and I want to share it with you if you allow me. And he said, yes, of course. So I said, doctor, the only explanation is that I have a powerful and living God who works miracles and wonders. And once more, he surprises you and many others showing his infinite power using my mother as a testimony. And he said, yes, ma'am, what you're saying is true because I do not have an explanation. I'm speechless. This is why I wanted to hear you because even though I had the clinical history and all the tests they ran last night and I am seeing her now, I wanted to hear what you had to say to say to be sure but you're right this is a miracle because i do not have any other explanation this is why once more with joy in my heart grateful to know that i have a living god who hears me and speaks to amaze the world and doctors my loved ones and close friends once more i give the glory and the honor to my heavenly father 